Incisions for a suboccipital craniotomy can be very varied. Many surgeons use a curvilinear or a linear incision. Uh, we have to uh, really, uh, uh, we have to come to really like the uh, curvilinear incision, and I would like to review some of the basic concepts for uh, this incision and its advantages. Let's talk about how we place the incision so we can make sure we can reach and expose the um, junction of the transverse and sigmoid sinuses. We identify the union and the root of the zygoma and we draw a, a hypothetical line. We later find the groove of the mastoid uh, bone and then extend the line straight vertical. Where they join is most likely where the transverse sigmoid junction would be uh, 